Now let us derive an expression for the motional EMF. For that, let us consider a fixed frame, something like this. Let me have a frame in the shape of a, a something like letter C. This frame is fixed and we have a movable road, rod like this. Let's name this. Let this point be A, B and this uh, red, red colored one is a rod, C, let's say CD which can move along the C frame in the horizontal direction. Suppose it is moving towards left with the velocity V. Let the distance that is the position of the road at any instant be X or BC equal to X. And we have a magnetic field directed into the plane like this. This into represents this cross mark represent we have a magnetic field into the plane of paper and let that magnetic field is of uniform strength. Now we have uh, the magnetic flux. The magnetic flux, let's say phi, magnetic flux is represented by the letter phi is equal to the dot product of the magnetic field and the area vector. Area means the area of ABCD, this rectangle ABCD. See, we have a magnetic field of uniform strength directed into the plane of paper. So, first we have to find the dot product of B and A. And for dot product to, for finding out the dot product, we have to first find the angle between B and A. See, uh, this magnetic field is into the plane and uh, the area vector is also directed into the plane of paper. See, it's like this. We have this. This is the top view and if we see like this, A, B, D, C, A, B, C, D. We have the magnetic field in the direction in the downward direction B. Also, the area vector is also perpendicular to this plane. So, the direction of area vector is also in the same direction as that of B. A. Clearly, here, see this, this red one is the area vector and that green one is the magnetic field. Both are directed into the plane of paper, which means theta here is equal to zero angle between area vector and the magnetic field is zero. So we have the flux phi is equal to, we have b dot a is equal to b a, b a cos theta or theta is the angle between b and a. So phi is equal to b a cos zero degree. We know cos zero is equal to one. So phi is equal to b a. Let's call that as equation number 1. Since we have cos 0 degree equal to 1. Now we have flux phi is equal to this A. When you look at the area A, B, C, D. Area. We have area of the rectangle is equal to length B, C into C, D. Let's assume the length of the road B, L. So, BC is equal to, uh, the rod is at the position C right now. So, the length BC equal to X and CD is equal to L. So, area equal to XL. So, phi is equal to BXL. Let's call that as equation number 2. Now, we have the EMR. Let me, let me erase this. According to Faraday's law, we have e, EMF, EMF E is equal to minus d phi by dt. The derivative of magnetic flux uh, linked with the coil with respect to time will give the uh, EMF. This is Faraday's law. 
Faraday's law. Now we have E is equal to minus D by DT of instead of phi we can substitute Bx. Bx. Let me erase this. We have EM of E is equal to, look here B and L remains constant. So you can take that outside. So it is equal to minus BL, this minus is already here, T by DT of X. See, the length of the road does not change. The, this road can move in the horizontal direction, but this L length L is fixed. Now we have E is equal to minus b l we have the derivative of position dx by dt derivative of displacement with respect to time will give us the velocity see the rod is moving towards left which is in the decreasing direction of x see from the when the rod is moving from c to b that is from here to here c to b that a, it is actually moving in a direction in the decreasing x, decreasing displacement. So you have to put a minus sign. So dx by dt is equal to minus v. So induced em of e is equal to b l v. So this is the expression for the motion em of. Clearly we have em of proportional to velocity. So what this means is when you increase the velocity of the motion of the road, the EM of also increases. That, that is when V is increased, the EM of also increases. Clearly.